Hi, welcome back to Power Factor. I'm Rick. I'm Steve. Today we're going to discuss competitive divisions. Uh, in previous episodes, we've mentioned how a gun or a certain caliber is uh, better or worse for a given division without really elaborating. And of course, viewer feedback suggests, is, hey, why don't you guys talk to us about divisions and tell us what's involved in that? So I think what we first need to discuss is power factor or what it means and what exactly that details. So power factor is just simply a measure of a am ammunition's um, performance. Uh, there's major and there's minor power factor in USPSA. Um, minor power, power factor basically by definition is the bullet weight times velocity. So what will happen during a major match is they'll take your ammunition, remove the bullet from it, weigh the bullet, uh, take some rounds from you, fire those rounds over a chronograph, measure the velocity, multiply the velocity times the bullet weight, and that's your power factor. Um, power factor in USPSA, there's minor, there's major. Uh, minor is basically uh, 125, what's defined as 125 power factor and above, up to 165. 165 and above is major power factor. Um, without getting into the details of scoring, uh, the targets are scored a little bit different between major and minor power factor. We'll talk about that in a future episode of really uh, the, the scoring of a target. Um, in terms of USPSA, there are six divisions. Uh, first division is open division. Open division is basically classified as your racy type guns that have either a red dot optic uh, sight on them and or a compensator. There's not a whole lot of rules in terms of um, the open gun restrictions. It's kind of like the playground for people um, really testing new ideas or, or concepts out um, in terms of, uh, of, of the guns. Um, major, I'm sorry, open division, uh, pretty much everybody is shooting major, major power factor. Uh, again, so 165 and above. Uh, next division is limited division. Limited division guns are very similar to open division guns, except they don't have the red dot optic and they don't have a compensator. Uh, there are, however, rules uh, about what the gun can and cannot have and what you can do to it. There's also a requirement that at least, I think, 200, I'm uh, sorry, 2,000 guns are manufactured, at least there used to be, um, and or a, that, that has been in production for at least one year. So you just can't come off with any, you know, prototype gun, so you're shooting limited and be legal. Uh, this gun here is a STI Edge, uh, works very well in limited division. Uh, limited division, one of the, probably the, the noted thing there is that is magazine capacity. Our magazines can be no longer than 140 millimeters, which now means we're basically trying to get as many rounds into that magazine as we possibly can. In limited, you're looking somewhere around, depending on the mag and what you've done to it, and tuning 19 to 21 rounds roughly of 40 caliber ammunition. Now you're gonna say why 40 caliber? Well, 40 caliber is the minimum caliber that is allowed to score major power factor. So since it's all a matter of points and major scores more than minor, everybody is shooting uh, 40 caliber in limited division. In open division, typically everybody there is shooting either a nine millimeter or a 38 super uh, or 38 super comp. In open division, uh, the, there is no um, requirement of, say, 40 caliber and higher for, for major power factor. You can actually get major by shooting 9 millimeter. Only in open. Only in open. Only in open Only are you allowed open. to use the 36 caliber bullet and right. still make major. Right. All the other divisions, it's got to be at least 40 caliber. Right. Now, if I, now, although that style of gun totally dominates limited competition, as long as you fulfill the requirements for the sighting, you know, no red dot optics, if you're using your iron sights. iron sights and your magazines are no longer than 140 millimeter, any gun that meets those requirements is legal. I mean, this is this is a this gun is also perfectly legal for limited competition. Right. Not commonly used because you do get certain competitive advantages from the feature of, features of this gun. But the rules just dictate some basic features that are allowed on the gun. And the rest of it is open, huh, open, limited. But uh, um, yeah, you can shoot a Glock, you can shoot a number of different guns, but this this style of pistol is definitely what dominates with uh, limited division. And in terms of uh, different guns and different divisions, and starting to talk a little bit about division crossover, um, this particular gun, but a 10 division was born from the assault weapons ban, uh, which has since sunsetted. But the requirement there was basically it can be everything that a limited gun is, but you can only put 10 rounds in the magazine. Um, that was the restriction. So for quite some time, 
uh, I was shooting a single stat gun in limited 10 division with 10 round magazines uh, and was perfectly competitive in limited 10 division. Same thing can be done with this gun. I could take these magazines, only load 10 rounds into them, even though they're, you know, can hold more and shoot limited 10 with right. this setup. Right, and 10 round magazines have become widely available in 45 caliber since the assault weapon ban was passed. So you'll see single stack 45s like this competing on, in the same division against the higher capacity pistols that are just downloaded to 10 rounds. And people will argue that this gun will give you an advantage over a single stack because of the mag well. I don't fall into that camp. I think anybody who practices enough with a single stack gun can be just as fast and proficient as somebody shooting a wide body or wide based um, gun in, that's like this or limited. Uh, so since you uh, were showing that, yeah, this, this is, again, a gun is somewhat versatile for USPSA competition. Uh, single stack 45, uh, 1911 can be shot in limited 10 with 10 round mags. Uh, it can also be shot in single stack division with 8 round mags in 45, uh, 40 caliber. You can also shoot minor in limited, or uh, in uh, single, stack, single stack, and then you're allowed 10 rounds uh, capacity. And, uh, but the magazine has to be flush. Magazine has, yeah. You, you're not the uh, in single stack. You're not allowed to have a magazine that extends beyond the gun. In fact, there's a box, box. that the gun has yeah. to fit into with a magazine in place and, and a weight it. requirement. Yeah, and so, um, but again, you can shoot two different divisions with it. Um, fairly versatile. Uh, if you get it in forty, well, um, technically you could shoot all the divisions with that if you really wanted to be. Other than production, true. And uh, the production division is a, was uh, arose out of the need to kind of address the idea that the, there's an equipment race, uh, what's referred to as an equipment race, where guns were getting more and more expensive to kind of keep up with the Joneses. There's a lot of features that can be added to a gun, some at, at great expense, and the, the, there was a sense that we need to kind of have a, a competitive divisions for people who want to compete but they don't necessarily want to have their life savings invested in right, the sport. Right, and I think that was kind of the, the origin of, of production division was to provide a means for people to use whatever they commonly already have, um, even if a, as a nightstand gun, uh, to be able to come in and start shooting. And also, if they, if they don't have something already set up, they can go out and buy something relatively inexpensive and be fully up and running in uh, production division. So production division, everything is scored minor, regardless of what caliber you shoot. Uh, and because of that, typically everybody's going to be shooting 9mm uh, because of the recoil and also because of the cost of ammo. 40 caliber ammunition is obviously more expensive than 9mm ammunition. A lot of people don't reload, they buy their ammo. Uh, we'll talk about reloading in a future episode, but 9mm is pretty much everybody is shooting in production division, uh, primarily from an economic standpoint and also a recoil standpoint. So you can shoot a larger caliber. Uh, if you are shooting 40, you will not be scored major. It's still considered minor, uh, even though you're shooting a more powerful uh, caliber, it's still scored minor uh, in production. And at the same time that production was introduced, kind of di diversify the um, competitiveness of different uh, types of guns that maybe wouldn't normally be seen in competition, a separate revolver division was added. People were shooting revolvers originally, you know, shooting a six shot or eight shot revolver against the um, eight shot, 14 shot, 20 shot automatic pistols, but subsequently a revolver division was added. Um, it just makes your over the counter, inexpensive revolver, uh, give it its own playing field so you're not competing against people that have uh, capacity advantages and whatnot. And I know there are six shot revolvers and there are eight shot revolvers and I don't recall neither Rick nor myself shoot revolver division so we're not officials on that how we're acting with the rule book up but I believe if you're shooting in revolver division you can load no more than six rounds right, right. right. that's the way the rule is written so if you've got a trick out eight round eight revolver round, right. fine you only load six in it but if you load seven you go to and open you move to open yeah yeah, yeah. pretty much as it is with everything it, and that's one point is that if you violate any of the division rules, um, they send you to open. So if you're shooting, let's say, a single stack gun and you, for whatever reason, somehow stick a 10 round magazine in there shooting 45 caliber major and you get caught, uh, you go to open. In production division, we're only allowed to have 10 rounds in the magazine, but a lot of the magazines hold more than 10 rounds. So if you put, let's say, 11 or 12 rounds in your magazine and you use it, you go to open. Yeah. The threat of going to open. So yeah, nobody wants mind. to go to open unless you're shooting open. open.